When you hear Kiri Kiri, what comes to your mind? Prison walls, dirty cells, crony looking inmates. But can I tell you that when you visit the female custodial facility, you may have to eat your words. Let's take you back to the custodial facility to give you a glimpse of the inmates soaking in the reforms and crafts they have been exposed to. We are still behind the walls, accommodating 244 women on the wrong side of the law in the female custodial facility in Kirikiri Lagos Command. Some indeed made wrong choices, but every day they are trying to live above society's prejudices, perhaps learn how they can right the wrongs committed. I'm listening, I'm listening. 191 of them are awaiting trials, 48 are already convicted, while five are on the death row. For now, the support they get comes from the wardens, non-governmental organizations, individuals, education and religious institutions. In Nigeria's justice system, officers of the correctional service seem to be at the receiving end, serving as the goalkeeper to all security agencies, staying awake, watching to ensure Nigerians can sleep without fear of a criminal on prowl. The transition from Nigerian prison service to Nigerian correctional service it's a game changer for, for me. The area that you know, we, uh, we are you know, breaking ground and achieving you know, new milestones is in the area of education. Quarterly, the controller of corrections, Lagos Command, goes on inspection to monitor activities in the yard. Apart from the support female inmates get from family and friends, the Nigerian Correctional Service has various partners that can help identify the causes of the antisocial disposition. To find out that so many of the incarcerated, that if they are here for one week, two weeks, one week, you will see that their attitude towards life is changing. The feedback from the inmates is that they are happy and they pray for us. We also want to call on others to please join hands with the Nigerian Correctional Service, that is other foundations, to please come around and join hands with the Nigerian Correctional Service because the work is enormous. Looking forward to... Um, sure. The social service support system is helping women document their time in prison as a means of inspiring others who may find themselves in similar situations. Assistance of Ford Foundation, we started off with the Koyi prison. As an organization, we provide virtual learning programs where we pre prepare incarcerated individuals um, for examinations that's, that are owed in the facility, like the general certificate examination, the WIAC examination, the JAM examination. And beyond that, we are also looking at other formal ways of providing support to um, incarcerated persons. And one of the things we've leveraged on is through our partnership with public and private organizations who will be willing to work with us to provide mm -hmm. this support. And one of the recent uh, intervention in that light is actually our recent partnership with Reedland. And what Reedland is doing is actually to help us train incarcerated individuals across different correctional facilities on creative writing. The facility has a library filled with books of different genres, particularly those who have been in similar situations. Some of them have been disconnected from their family for years. Some of them, they can't go back to where the incident must have happened. And that becomes a very serious um, challenge for them because even though they want to change, it's difficult. And you find out that they even end up on the streets or end up under the bridge or maybe probably go into prostitution and all of that. But with the intervention of the halfway home, we have, they will have a place to come to. They will have a place to a community of people who understands where they are coming from and is willing to provide uh, the support that would help them to, you know, to reintegrate successfully into the society. 2% of all inmates in Nigerian Correctional Service facilities nationwide are female. Data obtained from the website of the Nigeria Correctional Service shows the increase of women in Nigerian prisons as far surpassed that of male prisoners in a year. As at the 17th of April 2023, there were 1,686 female inmates across the country, compared to July 2022, when there were 1,536 females. Although women in prison are a minority, the Correctional Service says it is working on meeting the peculiar needs of the inmates but more support is needed to care for the inmates and babies. On admission, we carry out a pregnancy tests on each of the inmates. And when we find out you are pregnant, we record it against your uh, warrant. And when we record it against your warrant, then we book you up for special care, which is you go through the antenata and ultimately 
you give birth to that baby. And when you give birth to the baby, we are not sending the baby away. The baby will remain with the mommy so that the mommy can win the baby within 18 months. So when they are 18 months, they will be taken out of this facility to their relations and in a situation where they don't have relations or family to go back to, the service make arrangements to take them to motherless baby home and monitor uh, their progress. Uh, in the public relations officer takes his time to dispel perception of ill treatment for the inmates. Our officers don't even have access. The men don't have access to this female custodial center or anywhere female are being held. We have correctional female officers like you have, you are seeing that handles the female inmates. No male like me now. I'm not expected to be here. And if I will come here, I'll come with an escort, just like you have seen. Yes. So this is a misconception that have been that have been lingering in the public uh, domain for a very long time. Some of them say the female custodial facility in Kirikiri, Lagos, Nigeria, is a home away from home. Differences are your choices and resources are limited. The longing of a loved one and time seems unlimited. The resource time is what faith-based organizations and officers of the Nigerian Correctional Service are using to generate revenue and help the inmates become better persons when they leave the confinement of these walls. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos.